Watch closely, the guy was biking home, when the chain ring suddenly fell off. He looked at the chain ring on the ground, and came up with an idea. He first flipped the bike upside down, then used a hammer to knock off the other pedal, and used a wrench to take off the rear wheel bolts, so he could tap the freewheel loose with a chisel. After removing the freewheel, he clamped it onto a vise, and used a grinder to cut off all the gears on it, then smoothed it out. After that he placed a gear on top of it, and spot welded it in place, then screwed the freewheel back onto the hub and put the rear wheel back on the frame, tightening the nuts to lock it in, then turned the bike back upright. Next he lined up three gears side by side, and placed needle bearings in the center holes, then set a metal strip on top, and spot welded the bearings to the strip, making them one piece. Then he mounted a metal strip onto the back of the bike, and welded a small metal block beside it as support, then welded the gear support bar to it. After that he set the motor on top of the gear set, and spot welded it once it lined up, then placed the battery in the battery frame, and used zip ties to hold the motor controller next to it. Then took the controller wires, and screwed them to the motor terminals, then installed the throttle to control the speed, tightened it down, and used zip ties to clean up the wires, keeping them neat. Then took the motor wires, and connected them to the controller output, wrapping the joints tightly with electrical tape, to insulate them. At this point, a chainless gear driven assist bike, is fully finished right in front of everyone, now he never has to worry about losing a chain again, and this gearless bike is actually pretty fast, and works great for riding in the countryside. If 10 is a perfect score, how many would you give it?